Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Debbie and today we're going to be making an apple spice bread in my bread machine. If you are new here I wish you would hit that red subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family and always give me a thumbs up and hit the bell icon so you're notified of every video I upload. Now let's get into this recipe. So the first thing we're going to add is our water which is two thirds cup. Next to that, we're gonna add softened butter. I have one tablespoon. Next, we're gonna be adding our dried milk, which is one tablespoon. To that, we're going to add our sugar and our salt. The sugar is one tablespoon and the salt is one teaspoon. And I just have that in here together. You kind of see the coloring difference. To that, we're going to be adding our spice. It calls for apple pie spice. Now, if you don't have apple pie spice, you can add, you can mix your own spices. You can do Three quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon ground ginger, one fourth teaspoon ground allspice, and a fourth teaspoon ground nutmeg. And that will make the needed one and a half teaspoons. And that is what I did. I just mixed my own because I didn't have all those. And then to that, we're going to add a fourth a cup of cut up dried apples. And to dry your apples, all you need to do is slice up an apple. You can leave this skin right on it and place it in an oven. I put mine on a rack and then put that on a cookie sheet and placed it in the oven. And the oven was about at 170, maybe 190. And I left them in there for about three to four hours, I would say. And then just take them out and, and let them air at room temperature. So we have our water, our butter, our dried apples, our dry milk, our sugar salt, our apple pie spice, and next we're going to be adding our bread flour, which is two cups. One. Time to make a run to the store. But we had enough. And two. And the last thing we'll be adding is our yeast. The yeast is one and a half teaspoons. There's my one. And a half. We're going to pop this in the bread machine. Choose white cycle. I'm going to pull you over there. I'm going to pull it there, place it in. Choose white. And I'm going to choose light crust and start. And we'll meet you back here to see what it tastes like. And always remember, make sure you put your paddle on. I did not. I walked over to my sink to wash my dishes and found my paddle laying over there. I had made some bread the other uh, yesterday and I had washed it, but it was laying up on the back of my sink. So I had to add it, but it's added now. It smells so good. Okay, so I just took it out. She's not the prettiest, but she does smell good. I forgot to take the paddle out, so when I turned it over to get the paddle out of the bottom, a little bit of the crust came off. But like I said, it does smell good. So we're going to let it cool completely, and then I'll be back with a, a taste test. 
This is just um, a one pound loaf. Okay, we're gonna slice our apple spice bread. I left it on the cooling rack. Oh yeah, I can I can see some of the dried apples in there. Oh, smells a wonderful. Let me slice off a piece and give it a taste test. Oh, it smells wonderful. Hmm, pretty chewy. Really soft though. You can taste the spices. I taste the cinnamon for sure. I taste so, I barely taste like a little nutmeg flavor. That's really good. And uh, you can see some bits of the dried apples in it throughout. It's really a good flavored bread. This would be a good breakfast bread. So I hope you try this recipe. And until next time, take care of yourself and each other. Bye.